Hey, great start to the week there then with Stu and the Bet365 Handicap Chase from Weatherby will be my first race of the week. It's a two and a half mile 0 to 140. And at the top we've got a winner from last week, the long pause for Joshua Sutherland. Houston Assassin, Vinnie Gerard, Lake San Croix for Darren Thompson, Gold Coast, Craig Beckwith, Sean, Berry Brady for David Robertson, Admiral Ascoli, Martin Lidham, Psychopath, Graham Clutterbuck. Xenophon Croy and Attracted Branch for James Shea, Future King for Jim Murray, Morcat Gray for Thomas Rogers, Media Agency for Paul Rhodes, The Ice King for Leon Van Rensburg, and Romantic Liaison for Obi Wan. That's your 14 then for this one. And away they go. Starting almost on a bend. And Future King, the Jim Murray Silks is the first one to show. With the long pause, last week's winner on his outside. And tucked in behind him in third, Houston Assassin in the green. And Shanbury Brady as they make their way to the first of the 18 fences they've been negotiating. They've all safely gone over the first one with media agency and romantic liaison on the back too. So down to the second and the first of the ditches and the Ice King has jumped into the lead there from Shanbury Brady in second. Then comes the long pause back in third and Lake St. Quarries fourth. And Houston Assassins as they get to the third, which they're all safely over again. With short one to the fourth, which again. They all get over nicely, Xenophon Croy now just dropped to the back, but no more than a dozen length off the lead. And that lead is held by the Ice King. Comes into this ditch. And there's a faller there, it's Shanbury Brady's gone. So Shanbury Brady's out of it at the second ditch, and the Ice King continues to lead. From Future King in second, and Gold Coast is now moved through into third. Then comes the long pause, and Houston Assassin with attracted branch after that one. And then comes Lake Sarkoa, then Psychopath trying to get into it as well. With media agency behind that one and more cat and great and towards the back Xenophon Croy is just about the back marker. But it's the Ice King. It's opened up by about four now. To Future King in second. And Gold Coast on the outside of that one is third as they get to the next one. All safely over that one this time with the grey Admiral Scully making a bit of a forward move into about sixth place, but as they get to the next ditch. All safely over that one again, and the Ice King continues to lead. Gold Coast has now moved into second. The long pause moving around the outside is third as they get over the eighth. And one down on its nose there was, um, I think it was Attracted Branch. As they get to the next one, this is a plain one, a good jump there, but a long pause has seen that one jump into a clear second as they come up then past the stand. And they'll pass the winning post then with a complete circuit to go of this Weatherby track and the Ice King. Is the leader by well, three or four lengths to the top weight and last week's winner of a long pause in second. On the inside of that one is Gold Coast. In Future King is now back in fourth. Houston Assassin is after that one. And then comes Attracted Branch with Lakes and Quarra on that one's outside. Radpool Ascoli, the grey is still going the shortest way around. Then comes Morcat Grey and Media Agency together with Psychopath between them. And the back two are Romantic Liaison in the yellow and Xenophon Croy. In the green as they get to the tenth of the eighteen, and there's a four at the back there. More cat grey is gone, so more cat grey has departed the race at that one as they get to the eleventh, which is another ditch, and another four at the back there. Romantic liaison, the jockey did his best to stay in the plate, but eventually shuffled out the side door. The leader gave that one an almighty wallop and has surrendered the lead to the long paws and attracted branches. They get over the 13th. Those fences come up thick and fast down that part of the track and the long paws is just about in front as the Ice King tries to battle back on the inside. The one that looks to be going really well around the outside is Lake San Kua as they get over that one. And there's almost four in a line now then as they race down towards the business end of the race. The Ice King has got itself back into the lead but just how much did that mistake take out of it? It was a big mistake. And the long pause is in second. Lake San Quarry is third. Attractive Branch is fourth. These are a few lengths clear of Future King and Gold Coast and Admiral Ascoli all being pushed along. So to Houston Assassin and Media Agency. Although Media Agency is the one who's making a little bit of progress from the back. But it's the Ice King who races down towards the next in the lead by about a neck to the long paws and Lake San Quarry as they get over that one. Good jump there by Future King. This is wide open. Admiral Ascoli, the Grace trying to get back into it as well. They've got three more fences to take and this is the third last of the final ditch. Over that one they go. And the long paws and Lake San Quarry with the Ice King on the inside. It's almost three in a row. Future King on the centre of the track. This is the second last over that one they go. And Lake San Quarry jumped in better and got away from it well. And he's now two clear. 
this Lake San Juan. Two minutes clear over the final fence. He goes, gets over it nicely. The rest didn't jump at all that finally. And Lake San Juan is racing up towards the line. The rest are beginning to close. The jockey's taking it a little bit easy. He needs to keep up to his work here as the long pulls finishes fast. But Lake San Juan held on. Jockey a little bit too confident there in the closing stages. Darren Thompson must have been on the edge of his seat wondering if he was going to get swallowed up by the long pause but it's Lake San Quire that takes it for Darren Thompson the long pause for Joshua Sutherland was second the Ice King Leon Rundensburg third future king for Jim Murray was fourth and Admiral Ascoli went on to be fifth